Hi there, amateur money community. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're tackling a topic that's familiar to many, and, quite frankly, a bit scary for all of us. It's what we call the bill shock. Yes, you heard it right. We've all been there, staring at a bill in disbelief, wondering if there's been some sort of mistake. But don't worry, today we're going to arm you with some effective strategies to navigate through these financial surprises. So, let's dive right in. Remember, if you're joining us for the first time or not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated with all our latest content. Bill Shock First, let's take a moment to really unpack what we mean when we talk about Bill Shock. This term captures the visceral surprise or deep-seated anxiety one feels when a bill lands in your hands, and the total on it is far larger than what you had mentally prepared for. It's that sinking feeling, that heart-skipping moment, when you see that final figure and it seems to leap off the page, much larger than anticipated. Bill shock isn't confined to any specific type of expense. It can spring from a variety of sources, your routine monthly utilities like water or electricity, which may have spiked due to a leak or overuse. It might be your cell phone bill, bloated with roaming charges or additional data costs you weren't aware of. It could be steep medical expenses, which can often be complex and difficult to predict, or it might be the cost of sudden car repairs after an unexpected breakdown. The impact of bill shock is multifaceted and can range from a mild annoyance to a severe financial burden. The true effect really depends on the size of the unexpected bill and your current financial health. If you're living paycheck to paycheck or already have a tight budget, an unexpected expense can be enough to derail your finances and lead to financial stress or even debt. Surviving bill shock, and even preventing it from happening, involves implementing a triad of strategies, thoroughly understanding your bills, crafting and maintaining a robust budget, and being ready to negotiate when necessary. Understanding your bills. This is a crucial step that, unfortunately, gets overlooked all too often. We get a bill, we see the total amount due, and we pay it without really diving into the details of what makes up that final figure. This approach, while common, leaves us vulnerable to the shock of unexpected charges and less prepared to manage our finances effectively. Here's where we need to shift our mindset. Instead of simply accepting the total due at face value, it's important to adopt a more proactive approach. Scrutinize each bill you receive, line by line. Examine every single charge, every line item, every fee, and make sure they're justified, accurate, and align with your understanding of the service or product you receive. Errors are more common than you might think. They can happen due to technical glitches, human error, or even fraudulent activity. It's your responsibility to catch these errors before they catch you off guard. Any discrepancy, no matter how small, deserves your attention. If you come across something that doesn't make sense, or if something seems out of place or unusually high, don't hesitate to pick up the phone or write an email to your service provider for clarification. Providers are obligated to explain their charges and correct any errors. So, don't be shy to ask for an explanation or correction if needed. By adopting this approach, you'll not only catch potential errors and avoid paying more than necessary, but you'll also start to notice patterns and trends in your bills. This knowledge can be powerful. Understanding when and why your bills fluctuate can help you predict and plan for future expenses, putting you back in control of your finances, and making future bill shocks a thing of the past. Budgeting wisely. A comprehensive and realistic budget is more than a financial tool. It's the compass that guides you towards financial stability and freedom. It's not about hastily scribbling down your income and expenses on a piece of paper or an Excel sheet. It's a deliberate and thoughtful process that requires you to deeply understand your spending habits, set tangible and achievable financial goals, and plan for both foreseeable and unforeseen costs. Understanding your spending habits is the first step in creating a budget that works for you. It involves identifying your necessary expenses, your discretionary spending, and your occasional splurges. By categorizing your spending in this way, you can see where your money is going and identify areas where you can make adjustments if needed. Next, setting financial goals helps you plan for the future and gives your budget a clear direction. Whether it's saving for a vacation, building a retirement nest egg, or setting aside money for a down payment on a house, 
Having a financial goal can help keep you focused and motivated. But even the best laid plans can be derailed by unexpected costs, and that's why it's crucial to incorporate room for surprises into your budget. By allocating a portion of your income for unexpected expenses, you're essentially creating a financial safety net or emergency fund. This fund is your financial bodyguard, standing ready to absorb the shock of unexpected bills without allowing them to disrupt your overall financial equilibrium. This emergency fund isn't built overnight, but by consistently setting aside a small amount each month, you'll be surprised at how quickly it can grow. It's your personal insurance against bill shock, ensuring that when unexpected costs do arise, they're met with preparedness rather than panic. To wrap it up, budgeting wisely isn't about restriction, it's about making informed decisions that give you control over your finances. It's a proactive approach that turns you from being a passive observer to the active director of your financial story. The Art of Negotiation Contrary to what you might think, bills aren't always a fixed amount set in stone. In fact, there's often a surprising amount of room for negotiation, especially when it comes to bills like medical expenses, insurance premiums, or service charges such as your cable or internet provider. If you're faced with a bill that feels like a financial mountain you're not equipped to climb, don't let panic set in. Instead, take a deep breath and remember that you have options. Reach out to the billing entity, whether it's a hospital, an insurance company, or a service provider. Communicate your concerns clearly and respectfully, and be honest about your financial situation. Ask if there's any flexibility in the bill. This might feel daunting, but it's important to remember that it's perfectly acceptable, and often expected, to inquire about options for reducing the burden. You could ask about the possibility of a payment plan, spreading the cost over a period of time to make it more manageable. Or you could ask about a discount for prompt payment, which some companies offer as an incentive for early settlement. You could even negotiate the cost of the service itself. For example, if your cable bill has increased, it might be due to a promotional period ending. In such cases, companies are often willing to offer another promotion or discount to keep you as a customer. The key here is to communicate openly and negotiate assertively but politely. Remember, the person on the other end of the line is human, too, and many companies value customer retention. Don't be afraid to ask for what you need, you might be pleasantly surprised by how much you can save by simply taking the initiative to negotiate. Negotiation, like budgeting and understanding your bills, is another powerful tool in your arsenal against bill shock. By learning to negotiate effectively, you can turn a stressful situation into a constructive conversation, and potentially save yourself a significant amount of money in the process. And there you have it, some effective strategies to help you survive the dreaded, bill shock. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you understand your financial situation, the better equipped you'll be to handle any unexpected bills that come your way. Thank you for joining us today on Amateur Money. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more financial tips and advice. And remember, we're all on this financial journey together. Until next time, stay money savvy.